Hey friends, in this tutorial we will install Python. That's how we start. So let's go in google.com and write Anaconda Python. We'll click on this one, Anaconda Product Individual, Individual Edition. I click here and I see Download. So I will click on Download. Here we can see Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Pick the one that you're using. I will pick the 64-byte uh, Windows graphical installer. I click on that. The install start. It can take a while to download the full file, but I already have it. So I'll just close this. And here we can see Anaconda is there. So let's click on that. Here you just have to click on next. I agree. Just me, all users, you're fine with just me. Here you'll decide where do you want to install Anaconda. I'll just go with the default path. And here I will tick this one. So, ah, oh, the text go red. It might be a really bad idea to click this one. No, you want to click this one. It's going to be useful later on, right? So if you don't want to, there might be things that we'll be using later on that will not work with the way I explain it. So if you can just click this, it doesn't change anything, anything wrong won't happen. It just allowing you to use Anaconda from the command line. We'll see that later on. Click on install. You can look at the detail. And while it's installing, I explain you a bit more about why Anaconda. So Anaconda allows you to create environment, which is super useful because you can be using Python 2 for an old, very old project, or you can be using Python 3, like we will in this tutorial. You can also have different version of the different packages of Python. So we'll see what are the packages, we'll see how to install them, we'll see, etc. The good thing is that with Python, when you use Anaconda, most packages are already installed. So you don't really need to think about, oh, do I have this one, do I have this one? But if you find another project you want to maintain or use later on when you'll really be good with Python, which will happen if you continue this course, then you can just create an environment and have different version of different packages, different version of Python with Anaconda. It's super useful. And here we'll try it right away with Jupyter Notebook. We don't have to install anything. Jupyter Notebook is already there. So I'll pause here and we'll come back when the install is finished. Here we are. We can see there is next and we're ready to go. Next, next, finish. I will remove those because I don't want to learn more about anything. I will explain you anything you need to know right now. Finish. Now, how do you start? Right? I always remember when I wanted to start learning to program and they will show, show me, hey, just write print hello world. And I would not know where. And that was, well, an issue. So here's what you can do. You got two different options. One is you write Anaconda or Anna and you will see Anaconda prompt. So you can open this or the other way, which I tend to use, and that's why we've been ticking this checkbox with a red text. It's just to go in CMD. So how you go in CMD, if you don't have it pinned on your computer, you just go there, write CMD, and here it is, right? So here it is. I can close this one. It's exactly the same. I'll be using the common prompt one anytime, all the time in the course, but you can use Anaconda prompt if you didn't want to tick what we've been showing just before. So now let's just write Jupyter Lab. Jupyter with a Y Lab. Jupyter is for Julia, Python, and R. Now we'll be using only Python, but it works with those three languages. So Jupyter Lab just started. If somebody say Jupyter Notebook, it's kind of the same. So it will open in a new window like this in Google Chrome. So I can just click on a notebook, a Python notebook. And here we are. If you can see this, that's because you are in Jupyter Notebook. We are ready to start. And we can do one very quick first example. I will explain this in the next video. Hello world, it works. We can print hello world. I know it's not amazing, but it's a good start. And it shows you that everything is working fine. You're ready to start learning Python. Congratulations. Just one last thing. In case you don't see Jupyter like I'm showing you, then you can just go here in settings, Jupyter theme, and here you can choose between the light, mo the light mode or the dark mode. I'll just use the dark mode in this course, but the light mode is perfectly fine. It's really up to you. So here we are. It was the first tutorial 
Python is installed in your computer, you're in really great shape to keep learning Python. Remember, there's no age to learn Python, there's no gender, anybody can do it. It's not that hard. It's like everything you just need to continue. So don't let anything stop you and continue this tutorial. See you soon.